Stephanie Dobson is back with us this week. Stephanie is a lawyer and mediator with Hank and Divorce Law and Mediation here in Lloydminster. And we're back for another episode of Healthy Thriving Family After Divorce. Now, Stephanie, we have been doing an ongoing series through the month of December, dealing with the holidays and with divorce and separation. And today we're mm -hmm. basically going to talk to the people who have already been through separation and divorce, still difficult time going through the holidays, yeah. but kind of going through a list of like a who, what, where, when, uh, so that people know, uh, you know, kind of what to expect. And also at the end, we'll have a special giveaway. So let's start yeah. with the who in this scenario, Stephanie. Uh, what do we talk about with the, the separation and divorce over the holidays when you start with the who? Yeah, so the question here is who would be involved? So given that topic, this topic today is for families who have spent one or more Christmases apart, likely they've had some challenges in the past. What I encourage you to do is to draw on that um, experience or those experiences to figure out who you want to have in your Christmas holiday bubble. So if you and your co-parent did try to do Christmas together in years uh, gone past and it was successful, maybe you wanna try it again. Or if it was a disaster, the conflict level was really high, don't, of course, put your kids through that, uh, that stress again. So you might want to just think about who those important people are in your life, extended family, close friends, and just really consider spending the holiday with those people who also think that you're pretty darn special people as well. All right. And the next level in this, Stephanie, is what? So what should you plan? Well, I recommend planning whatever gives the people around you the most stress-free stress -free and enjoyable holiday separation. In a lot of what we talk about, it's about reducing household conflict. So this is um, in the similar uh, mindset there. So what's key here is to condition kids' minds to associating the holidays with really good memories and not memories about conflict and stress. So for example, if you like the outdoors, you know, you might plan to go skating outdoors or go for a walk or a drive around. Or if you're an indoor person, maybe you want to bake or play games or watch movies. So find out what the kids want to do and what you enjoy doing and really plan for that. Okay, and moving along to the when. When should you plan these activities? Well, I talked a little bit in last week's episode about tips for families creating new traditions in the holidays. So, you know, with so many separated or divorced families these days, you probably won't be the only one in your extended family who has to plan around when you have the kids with you. The holidays should be about spending time with family and friends in as many celebrations as possible. You know, from our COVID isolation experiences over the past couple of years, I think we all recognize the importance of spending time with family and friends. And when that's taken away from us, we really do miss it. So if you and your co-parent can plan your holiday schedule, so the holiday parenting schedule, I should say, around your extended family celebrations and not the other way around. So avoid working celebrations around the schedule. This allows the kids to, of course, be able to um, participate in as many things as possible. All right, and moving on to the where part of this, Stephanie, uh, where should you plan to spend the holidays? Well, when I think of the where and the travel, I can't help but look outside the window right now and see all the snow that's falling and all the roads that are becoming treacherous uh, by the minute. So the question of where is, of course, going to depend on your parenting schedule. My recommendation is to try to limit the travel for the kids on these special days. So if that's Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, or whatever your special days are, try to avoid travel on those days. And just spend the time appreciating the people around you and spending it with um, the people that are special. You know, if you and your co-parent are at great geographic distances, again, you'll maybe want to plan your schedule around exchanging the kids on a day that will be best for kids to not have to travel. And as we mentioned, Stephanie, you are going to give some viewers the opportunity to win a giveaway from Hanka Divorce Law and Mediation and in particular Up A Notch Learning. So Stephanie, tell me yes. what the giveaway is and how people can enter. Well, I'm very excited about this um, and to announce it. So as many of our viewers know, we've I've created an e-learning platform called Up A Notch Learning. And this empowers separating and divorcing families by using all of our resources on our e-learning platform. So we help families to make informed decisions so that they can thrive as co-parents. So in this platform, we have an online self-directed 90 minute course for purchase, and that's called Healthy Thriving Families 101. And that's intended for families in the initial stages of their separation and divorce, who are really needing to work through all of the challenging issues associated with this transition. So this 
transition to course can be time consuming, overwhelming, and confusing. This course is regularly priced at $97, but as a gift, away 10 courses for free. So all you have to do to, um, to get into this um, uh, lineup for the free course is to email our office and you just have to put in the keyword thrive, T-H-R-I-V-E, and we'll send you out a promo code. So that email is info at hencadivorce.ca. Well, that is just awesome, Stephanie. Thank you so much for that and for giving the viewers yes. the opportunity to get in. And there's so much as we've been going through this with separation and divorce to, to even just to get started. So this is fantastic. And, and we will put the information yes. up on the screen as well for the viewers to enter. So Stephanie, it's been great chatting with you. Great. And uh, we'll be back for the last in this series next week. Thank you.